This is the video tutorial for the uh, Montage Performance Manny Mod Tutorial 2. In this example performance, we're going to expand upon what we went over in our first videos. Uh, specifically, we're going to start uh, showing examples of how envelope shapes change the characteristic of the sound, how we can use different spectral shapes to have different harmonic structures. I'm going to tie that into scenes to recall sort of preset uh, versions of our sound and also touch on motion sequences. So very similar to our tutorial voice one, I've set up a number of our core parameters on the eight knobs. Specifically on knobs one through four, we can control the modulator uh, spectral wave, its ratio, its skirt, and resonance. And on knobs five through eight, we can do the same for our carrier wave. There's a couple of things I've set up on the assignable switches as well, which I mentioned in the article, is a very quick way to A-B compare what our uh, raw building blocks of the sound, meaning the um, straight modulator waveform and carrier waveform sound and envelopes, how those sound uh, compared to the FM synthesized final voice. So um, when this comes up, we have a general brass sound. <laughs> And you can control the brightness with the modulation skirt, knob three. So as I mentioned, we can use our assignable switches to hear the difference between the waveforms that make the sound and the resulting sound that gets combined by the FMX synthesis. So if I press assignable switch uh, one, that's our modulator wave. It's the all one waveform with the skirt value of 95. And you can hear its uh, envelope shape is a slightly soft attack with a little peak and then a sustain. Kind of synth stringy. So if we uh, now turn on only uh, assignable switch two, we're gonna hear our carrier wave. And that's just a straight sine wave. So now the resulting product of that modulator modulating the carrier uh, we have our brass sound. So keeping it at this set envelope shape and a waveform let's pr play around with our uh, ratio for our modulator. <laughs> So as in our first tutorial example, I have this set up to step through the first eight uh, ratios, 1.0 to 8.00. So again, let's hear the carrier by itself. That's just still our sine wave, but that's our modulator now. That's because we've turned it up from 1.0. Also, we can do the same changes with our carrier wave. I'm going to just isolate it. Here's our waveform. A little skirt on that so you can actually hear the all and odd waves. There's our res waves. Of course our resonance is up here. And we have our ratio. So here's our original brass sound set up again. Now let's change our carrier ratio. So this should sound familiar to the types of changes we demonstrated in our first example. Okay, so I'm going to reset this to our initial uh, values here. So we have our brass sound. So on knob one with the mod wave setting, I've programmed three different spectral shape and envelope combinations. So this first position at zero is our all one wave with the brass style envelope. When we turn up to 64, this is going to change it to the odd 
one wave with a electric keyboard type of envelope. So if I bring my skirt down a little bit here, we're just going to get a very generic um, electric uh, piano sound, kind of a reed type thing. <laughs> So this has a combination of a different spectral wave with a different envelope shape. Again, our skirt changes the uh, brightness. We can change our modulator ratio. So you can start hearing, again, variations in the timbre structure or harmonic structure based on uh, the ratio and using the same wave and save envelope. And again, we can use our assignable switches to isolate the different parts. So our carrier here is still just our plain sine wave as before. The modulator wave together in FM. Carrier modulator in FM. So continuing on, we're going to go all the way up to maximum here. And again, reset our parameters. So here I've selected the res one wave and I preset some uh, resonance in here as well. And this envelope that's pre-programmed with this modulator wave selection is sort of a uh, hybrid percussive synth uh, pad uh, type of thing. So it sounds like this. <laughs> so it has a percussive attack and then it crescendos back in and sustains. So the three different sounds brass, cheesy electric EP, and hybrid percussive sustaining synth. Again, play with all the different parameters here just to get uh, a little idea of what happens. We can play around with our resonance. play around with the ratio, of course our skirt, so let's uh, call up a couple of interesting uh, versions here, let's uh, set this to about uh, 33, let's crank this up to in the 90s, let's bring our resonance sort of low here, we're going to change our carrier wave to the uh, Odd uh, one, we're going to change its ratio a little bit as well, bring up a little bit of skirt, and now created a nice synthy organ type sound with that percussive attack. For another variation, let's bring the ratio down a little bit. We're going to keep our resonance and other stuff pretty much the same. We're going to change our carrier wave to one of the all waves here. And uh, we can keep the ratio really about the same here. Uh, we're going to bring up the skirt a little bit. Turn the mod wheel off there. So just those few changes of those parameters really change the sound a lot. Now we still have the same envelope from what we have programmed, but again, let's hear the parts. Here's just our carrier. Here's just our modulator. And together. So with just some very minor changes here, basically with the carrier wave and some ratio things, we've changed the sound quite a lot from our uh, percussive uh, organ sound to this. You'll notice the attack is very clavinet now.
here's another example. We're going to uh, mix and match all our guys again here. And uh, let's see, we're going to go back to our square wave odd one guy here. Medium ratios, skirt kind of low. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Sort of a nice square wave pad with that little percussive attack, a little detune in the harmonics. Sort of shimmers around a bit there, which is kind of neat.